Are we live? I'm having I'm having technical issues. Let me see. Um You are live, yay! Okay, I just really don't know what I did. I think, okay, here's what I did. I set up an event and then I accidentally streamed now instead of streaming through my event. So I just like really, really confused myself. All right, I guess we're good. I'm gonna pretend we're good. Okay, oh, hello everyone. Okay, the sound is good, glad to know that. Y'all can hear me, can you see me? Is this good? Um, let me look at my other little picture here that shows what you see. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. I'll just say, uh, I say we go for it. Good afternoon. Oh, I should wait because I did say three o'clock, didn't I? So we still have five minutes. Okay. We can just sit here and chit chat for five minutes. So that we start, you know, right at three, in case there's people who are right on time. You can see and hear me. Thank you, Karen Rogers. I appreciate that very much. That's all that matters, as long as you can see me and hear me. Okay, who all is here today? I see Dawn, I see Jan, I see Karen, I see Melissa. Hello. I see Linda and Ava and Vicki, and y'all know my little chat thing's got a lag on it, so it um, takes me a few minutes to see it after you type. The paint looks pretty, yes. This is just a pretty sight. We're gonna make, I'll show you what we're gonna make. We're gonna make a mess, and we're just gonna make some painty backgrounds like this. Really, really super easy. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with them, or what the plan is for now, anyway. Who knows? Hi, Cindy. Hi. Oh, Marie Nicole is here. Oh, I'm so excited to see you. How's the baby? We doing okay? Um, Nikki and Kate and Kathy and Roseanne and Nancy. I'm so glad to see y'all. You know, I always panic before one of these because I'm just convinced no one <laughs> will show up. Every time, I'm just convinced. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I guess I'll probably never get over that. Oh, well. Let's see. Kylie Koo. And um, it sounds like Gromper Room. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Oh, I'm your entertainment while nursing. Oh, that should be my thing. I should start like a channel for nursing moms to listen to so that, you know, <laughs> there's something entertaining while they're nurturing their children. <laughs> Kathy sewed five junk journals today. Dang, girl. Ah, uh, Patricia, thank you very much. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Ginger. And Yvonne, it's late in the evening there. Well, I hope this works out. This late afternoon thing is not really ideal for me because I really start kind of giving out around 2 or 3 in the afternoon. <laughs> but I did want to try to do this at different times to accommodate different schedules plus different time zones because I know that, you know, early or in the Saturday morning is just in the middle of the night in some other parts of the world. I don't know what other parts, but I feel sure that that is a somewhat true statement. Uh, Deborah and Craft and Mamas and Colleen and Della and Judy and Debbie. Debbie's in South Africa. 
Super cool. Thank you all so much for taking the time to be here. I really, really appreciate it. And if you are on my um, newsletter, if you've signed up to receive my newsletter, then you got a heads up about today and you also got a supply list. And if you want to art along with me today, um, I may need to add to that supply list. I don't know. We'll just see how far we get. But here, here's an addendum to the supply list if you're arting with me. And that is you might need some uh, mark makers, just some texture tools. If you don't have any mark makers, you don't have anything like that, you don't have a toilet paper roll, you know. <laughs> if you don't have mark makers, wad up a piece of aluminum foil, there's your mark maker, okay? <laughs> I don't know if we'll actually get this far today, but just in case, if you want to grab some, some texture tools or mark making things, you can do that while I'm blathering on and on about other stuff. So, um, basically all you're going to need, depending on how far we get, you know, the mark makers are, are, are a maybe, but you're definitely going to need some acrylic paint. And I have chosen um, sort of a rainbow palette, but not really a serious rainbow, you know, like, the, oh, hi, Dwayne, I see you, and Linda, and Linda, and Jamie, good grief, that they're scrolling up and I've lost it. And Colleen, did I already say Colleen? Okay, I forget, I don't know. Anyway, thank you all very, very much for being here. So, I don't, you know, I don't know color wheel, color theory, anything like that, um, but I know the colors that I like. So, this is what I'm going to use. This is what you need, probably about eight or ten colors. You're going to need some in the, like, red, orange, pink family, and then you're going to need some in the blue, green, yellow family. Yellow for me is like a transition color because it goes either way. You know, it can go over here with the reds and orange and pink, and this is kind of a red purple. Or yellow can go over here with the, that's right, greens and blues and blue purples, right? So yellow is kind of in the middle. So this is what you're going to need. And you're going to need some kind of a palette. You don't need, you know, a, a real thing. You, just a plastic plate will work, or a piece of glass, or the shiny side of freezer paper. You know, that'll be fine. Because we're going to squeeze these out kind of like a rainbow. Then we're going to make a big mess of them. And let me show you where it goes. It goes here. And, okay, what I started with is not the best thing to start with. It was this old book, and it's really actually a little bit too old and crumbly because the papers, I mean, you just look at them and they tear. But I started with it. I've been using it. It worked fine. I pulled all the pages out so that I could get to them easier. You use whatever papers you've got, but I'm warning you, you're going to want probably a lot of them because this is a little bit addictive. We should just call these live shows like the crack hour or something because <laughs> it seems like every time I do a live thing it's something like really addictive that's like craft crack and we all start doing it and then we can't stop <laughs> so welcome to the crack hour <laughs> oh, okay I digress <laughs> okay now we're gonna just um slap paint on here and, you know, with all of these um, colors, and see, it's like, it's skirting the edge of mud. It's not quite mud, but almost, but in a very appealing way. And, because we don't put them on one at a time, we put them on all of them <laughs> at the same time. And I just, this was just really fun for me, just swapping colors on and then I got out some of my mark making tools my little rubber band roller thing and I started making some um, textures and patterns 
same colors see and you put them on all like this and then you get this kind of rainbow effect going on or you can just stick to one end of it and just you know do the the red end or the blue end but I just really really loved how this looked with some of the uh, texture tools on it there's one that was on a clean sheet this one too and then when I cleaned up my palette, I sprayed it. I had I thought this was water and then quickly discovered it wasn't. <laughs> I think this is diluted alcohol. Probably 50-50 rubbing alcohol and water. Rubbing alcohol is uh, sometimes called surgical spirits, depending on where you live. So that's really good for cleaning up acrylic paints. I sprayed it on my really painty uh, palette. And then I kind of um, wiped it off with this and so that gave even kind of a different look with the acrylic paint mixed with a little bit of um, alcohol so that's what these are I really liked that did several of those then I took some of them I took some white acrylic paint and I uh, put it on a piece of waxed paper and then put the waxed paper on here to kind of um, knock back the background, you know. So it doesn't really cover it up. I didn't want to put just a gesso wash on it. Didn't want that. Just to kind of um, knock back the bright colors a little bit so I could do something on top of it. And then I did stuff on top of it. So, I don't know if we'll get this far today. If we don't, then we can um, pick up next time and, and keep working on them. So after I put the white on, then I went back with my same rainbow color palette and used my texture tools and, and stencils and uh, the same paints and just added some, you know, things. And then I used my black pen and a white pen to do some doodling. And I did this on several. So they're just fun doodly pages, right? So same colors in the background as the foreground. And then I took it a step further and put a few um, collage pieces on it. Just went through my binders, grabbed just really <laughs> things that would either fit or had the right colors. <laughs> Didn't give it much thought. Like, I don't know what this has to do with Inspire Confidence. With her, she looks confident. Uh, maybe, maybe that's it. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that's where we're going there. Welcome, everyone. Um, I see Kelsey and Debbie and Bob Peterson. I'm so glad you're here. And Yvonne and Blanche. I already said hi, Kali Koo, so you get two highs. And Renee. Woohoo! So glad y'all are here. I'm showing everyone what we're going to be doing. I don't think we're going to get this far. We're probably just going to get to the, you know, painting background part. But if we don't get this far, then we will do this next time. It can be like a, a part two or a second episode. I like that. Let's call it the second episode in the series. <laughs> Even though I didn't intend to make a series, I'm just... You know, I'm making this up on the fly. Y'all go with it. Let's just go with it. And here's this girl, which had I been paying attention, I would have moved her down a little bit more because she has no feet. She is an amputee, and um, it would have been more respectful of her condition for me to put her at the bottom, but I didn't think about that. <laughs> so I may have to draw shoes on her or something. And I don't know what on earth she has to do with big things happen here, but like I said, didn't give it much thought, just slapped stuff on there because it was fun. And this Ted the teddy bear says it's a rough life. And this one, this caricature of Bill Murray just cracked me the heck up. And then I found this word that said outcast. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> And let's see, this one I love. It didn't even need a word because it just has this bird going, 
you know, swish, can you hear it? Swish. I know. I don't know why, but I hear it every time I see this bird. It just looks like it's going swish into the flowers. <laughs> okay. And this bird doesn't go swish like that other one. It just kind of sits there all fat and happy. And it was just a cutout. I had a mustache that I painted on, and that was a magazine thing. And see, my paper ripped right there. I don't care. It's still all good. And this has got to be my favorite one. <laughs> she is awesome. And first class just seemed appropriate for um, this little diva girl here. And I think what I'm going to do with these, I actually sort of kind of have a plan maybe. Um, I just came up with it really like about 30 minutes ago. I think I'm going to put these in a book. Since they are on an old book paper and they are crumbly and a little bit delicate, they really need to be glued down to something. So here's what I think I'm going to glue them in. I've got these little, um, they're like devotional books. I get them free in the mail from, well, in touch, I guess. And they're just devotional. Sometimes I do actually read them and do the devotionals, but most of the time... I make notes on them, and I use it as a mouse pad. <laughs> so that's what I do with my devotional book. But since they do come regularly, I can't remember if it's every month or, yeah, I guess it's every month. Um, you know, they're kind of always coming in the house. So I took a recent one, and I just painted on it. I watered down these same acrylic paints, just three or four of them. And, I mean, like really, really runny. I'm practically turn them into watercolors and put them all over the pages and of course this is staple bound and that doesn't last so uh oh melissa shannon where did you get those funny people images you know what i don't know um these okay magazine i'm pretty sure and the Bill Murray one, I'm pretty sure this one came out of a magazine called Communication Arts. It's kind of a pricey magazine. You can get it at Barnes & Noble, but it has it's about communication arts. It has all kinds of illustration and advertisements and graphic design. And um, I think this was an issue that had to do with illustrators. This was Happy Mail. And these, these are just magazines for the most part. So yeah, different places. Um, just kind of always have an eye out for fun images. Yes, devotional mouse pad. It should be a thing. They should market these as a mouse pad, and then I bet more people would use them. They wouldn't throw them away because they come in the mail for free, and, you know, if this is not something that you want, you're going to toss it. But if, you, if it's marketed as a mouse pad, then you might ab absorb some Jesus. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Let's get back on topic because me off topic is dangerous. Okay. So what I think I'm going to do, I painted this and I'm going to rebind it with some kind of stitched binding. And yes, Renee, those are some from my binder. You're exactly right. That's where they were. I fished through there until I found some words and some images that sort of made sense. I don't know. They, they worked in my mind. But look, these pages are just about the right size for these. So I can glue these on here and then just make this a whole book full of these. So that is my tentative plan for the uh, all-important question, what you going to do with it? Well, that's what I'm going to do with it. And then what am I going to do with the book full of these? I'm going to flip through it and enjoy it and be inspired by it. So, there we go. Now, that's what we're doing. This is what we need to do it. And one of these, you're going to need a spatula or a gift card or a hotel key or something like that. And there was something, wasn't there something else? That was it. Oh, yeah, the papers. I'm just going to keep going on these really bad crumbly book pages because I've already started it so I feel compelled to finish or maybe not finish but I don't feel right switching gears midstream for whatever reason I don't know so anyway that's what we're gonna do let me check our um, okay 
Are we good? I'm checking my stream health. I don't know what color that little thing is supposed to be. I'm just going to keep talking and assuming that we are still good. So, I'm going to keep going. Gosh, I just have this like fear of sitting here talking and making stuff and not realizing that the, the whole live stream died like an hour ago. <laughs> you know. So, I'm a little neurotic about some things. So here we go. Oh, drop paper. That was the thing I was forgetting. Yes, you're going to need some drop paper. And um, I recommend paper and not a craft mat because when you're done, you're going to get some fabulousness. See? I mean, <laughs> that's just some pretty darn good drop paper right there. Yeah. So don't cheat yourself and use a craft mat. Get just some scrap paper of some kind to line your work area. Because it will pay off in the long run. And get your mouse out of the way. Put your card here. Now we're going to uh, put our rainbow out. I'm just going to make blobs of color like that. And I'm going to keep my um, color families separate. You know, the, the reds on this end and then the blues on that other end. Oh, it's a booger. Gross. Acrylic paint boogers are just nasty. Okay. So sorry you had to see that. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. That one. Yellow. Use a little more yellow because it goes either way. And some of these are not the best paints. A couple of them are. Most of them are not. So you don't need fancy frou frou paints. What you're gonna do is I'm probably gonna use this to wipe paint on like this little snot wad here. There we go. Yeah. I'll just keep adding color to this. Just cuz You take your little card and you just kind of lay it gently on top of your paints and then you swipe them down like that. And wipe that off. Go to the next part. Swipe them down. Just gently, there's still kind of a blob up here, and that's okay, because you'll do this again later. And the last one. Okay. Now, oh, doesn't that just make you happy? It does me. It's just so pretty. I just love that. Now what we're going to do is take our papers. Uh, oh, how are we going to do this? Let's see. How about that? Yeah, that'll work. And then you just dip your card in your paint however you want, and then you put it on here however you want. And because we're, you know, swiping down, now you can put it on gently and, you know, set it aside to dry, 
but if you just swipe it down like I did these others, it is very thin, it soaks into the paper, and you don't have to worry about stacking them all or, or laying them all out individually to dry. I just kind of throw them up here on my keyboard. <laughs> And if a little bit might stick to another one, it's okay. But they do not stick bad when you squeegee off most of the paint. Such as this. Let's do this. Let's just go. See, I've picked up several colors here. And then we just put it on. And you can stay in the same color family or you can move over here. Grab some of these guys. And add two. See? And then I just flipped my card over to the clean end. Kind of squeegee up any excess. And there's not a lot of paint on here, so you don't have to worry about it sticking to whichever next page that you lay on top of it. You're going to be okay. So if you've got limited space, this is really good for limited space because you don't have to lay wet, painty pages all over the floor. Okay, so I've still got some paint on here. Just going to wipe it off. And then let's reload, kind of maybe here in the middle. And And just keep going. Now, if you've got some paint on here and you don't want the rest of this, you know, have yourself a, a wipe off book like, you know, like I was doing to wipe this off or just wipe it onto a separate spot on your palette and then you can go back at the end and kind of reuse it. It gets kind of muddy down there, but it's, um, it's actually cool. I'll show you. Okay, this needs some more from this end. Let me kind of do that this time. And I think this would be really good, too, if you're, like, nervous about making mud. Because I just hear quite frequently from people who just say, Ugh, I, I never use acrylic paints because I just always end up making mud. <sighs> okay. Sometimes, yes, sometimes you make mud. It happens. Big deal. Get over it. It's acrylic paint. <laughs> you know, I mean, chances are, if you're, if you're not a... a a painter person, you're not buying fancy golden paints anyway. They're cheap, so might as well experiment, have fun, make mud, start over, and then, you know, figure out what works for you, right? Okay, that one has too much red, so I'm going to go up here. There we go. Then I turn my credit cards into rainbow cards. Yes! And I, like I've been doing this nonstop for two days now. <laughs> and in my head, I just keep saying, paint the rainbow. You know, like that Skittles commercial that's taste the rainbow. I'm like, paint the rainbow. <laughs> And then I laugh because I am so incredibly easily entertained. <laughs> and okay, these are pretty if you like, you know, just a certain color family on there, but I tend to like all the colors. So. Let's just add more. I mean, you can vary the colors that you use. You don't have to use this whole rainbow palette thing I've got going on. You know, do what you want. But you get the idea. 
Rainbow credit cards are unlimited. Um, you get unlimited credit, you know, like an American Express, only better because um, you don't have to pay them. And uh, it's just the ideal credit card, I think. Everyone should have a rainbow card. That should be the thing, the new rainbow card from Capital One. What's in your wallet? Okay. The sky's the limit. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. Reds. You know, I think the best part about it is you just really don't know <laughs> what you're going to get. <laughs> okay, maybe somebody who knows what they're doing, you know, like an artist person, <laughs> knows exactly what's going to happen if they lay these four colors down on top of these two. Okay, I don't. I don't know what's going to happen. So this is, this is like magic to me. <laughs> Sometimes being clueless is fun, right? Because <laughs> everything is a surprise. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay, y'all, last time I streamed, my daughter Taylor stopped in. And, oh, fuck. and she said something in the chat. I don't remember what she said she said. Maybe just hi. Or, I mean, knowing her, she did not say a lot. She's not, um, not very chatty. But I didn't see her. <laughs> I felt so bad. <laughs> so every one of you here has an assignment. If Taylor Green says something in the chat, you must go all caps and just yell at me. <laughs> until I respond, okay? Because dang, she moved away, she moved clear across the country, all the way to California. I don't see her anymore. She stops in on my live stream, which, okay, she never does, and then I missed her. I just felt, oh my gosh, it was awful. It was awful, she didn't care. It was no big deal, really, but it was a big deal to me. Ooh. Oh, man. See, it's just on that border of, of mud that I really love. Like, like just one more sweep and it would be mud. And that is what I love. Okay. Uh, let's see. So these... That. And this weird purple thing we got happening. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. See, this, this purple right here is kind of a, it's a, a milky, what am I trying to say? A tinted, white tinted color, whatever, that's not clear like the rest of them. So it can sometimes get, make things a little bit funky, but it can also add just the right little something, something. So I like having it in there, but I got to be careful with it. I say as I mix it with all the other colors. <laughs> Let's try laying it down first and then using the uh, clearer colors on top of it. Barbara Every, I'm so happy to see you. 
all the way from the UK. We are painting today. Just making a big old fun, happy mess. Yeah. I really could just sit here and do this for hours. Well, okay, I already have. <laughs> I could continue. And look at my drop paper. Good drop paper. Uh huh. Did I tell you? I'm telling you. Oh, oh, I see my buddy Rosemary. Hey, girl. And Janet and Joanne, I'm so glad y'all are here keeping me company on this rainy uh, Saturday afternoon. You know, it rains more here than it did in Houston, or at least it rains more often. I don't know about volume, but man, does it rain here, like at least once a week. I don't know if it's just the rainy season. It's it's monsoon season here in Northwest Arkansas. Okay. There we go. I'm getting a good pile of papers here. And I still have paint left, and we're only a half hour in. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, here. Oh, that was nice. That was a nice little swipe. So if y'all are not members of my Facebook group, there's a link in the video description somewhere down there among all of those nine jillion links where you can join. And then if you try this out on your own, you can post some pictures in there so that I can go, ooh, and ah, oh, and see how awesome you made it. Because it's, it, without fail, anything I do, I just throw the idea out there and then someone just takes it to the next level and blows me away. <laughs> Uh, seriously, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Why didn't I think of that? Or, or how can I get mine to turn out that way? <laughs> Always. I tend to go up and down a lot. I'm very linear. Let's just go diagonal and just blow this out of the water. Look at that. Diagonal. It's just blown out of the water. <laughs> okay. When you get through with this, you can go back through and, you know, some that are just not making you happy, you can add to them. Um, you can lay down the white like I did so that you can um, layer on top of them or whatever. Ginger says, next, squiggly lines. Oh, girl, baby steps, baby steps. Take it easy. You know, I'm going to. I might hurt myself <laughs> doing that. Look, I've gone back to linear. I can't even maintain diagonal. Oh, I'm doing it again. Okay, I'm getting low on some of my colors. 
Maybe time to reload. You know, instead of, I think what we'll do, there's still time. We can go on to the um, mark making. Oh, that's nice. I like that. The, yeah, the mark making thing. Maybe. Oh, that's lovely. I might add some blue to that, but I want to use that for the rest of this red. Hey, Gina. Hey, Suzanne, did I say hi to you? I don't remember if I did. If I didn't, then I just took care of that, didn't I? Oh, there's a lot of red on there. Go away. Turn around. I want these. All right. Yeah, Gina, the drop paper <laughs> is like the whole reason for doing this. <laughs> it's just all about the drop paper. This is just a necessary step you have to go through to get fabulous drop paper. And even the palette ends up looking kind of awesome at the end. Okay, I've got a lot of these left. So, I'm just going to, oops, squish them all on. And there we go. Yeah. Just gonna pull as much as I can off of there, including my little weird sticky part over there. Then, okay, now about this point, when I've really pulled most of the paint off, this is when I spray it with this half alcohol, half water. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. I mean, I know there's alcohol in it. I can smell it, but I have no memory of actually making it. But it just seems logical that I would have made it half and half. So that's what I'm going with. <laughs> okay. Then you can just kind of clean up. Oh, see, these are really crumbly. Paper is not so good for this. And then, yeah, just kind of do this. And you have to kind of keep adding the alcohol and the water because the alcohol evaporates or something. It just it goes away. Just trust me. For whatever reason, it does. Was a thing of hand sanitizer which is mostly just diluted alcohol and I, I used it for cleaning my jelly plate for a while and then when it got all emptied out I just made that my alcohol and water sprayer And this alcohol all over the paper will dry, it'll evaporate and go away. So that is what we have. Now, now that I have really sort of unnecessarily put all that alcohol on here, we can reload it and make some marks. <laughs> So, for the mark making, let's do the, um, 
Let's wipe some of them out first. And this is what I like to do. Take a piece of wax paper, and this is what I did on these. I put the white over it so that I could make some more marks on top. Because, you know, we're all about layers, right? Hey, Juliana, I am so glad to see you, girl. <laughs> Long time no see. We're painting papers today and making a mess. Okay, white paint. There's no need to point out that my white has yellow in it, if you can see, because I had the white and the yellow out earlier, and I put the cap to this white paint onto my yellow tube. And so now this is going to be pretty much forever yellow-ish. But that's okay because I ended up with a lot of these white paints. And you don't need, you know, golden paint. Use a white craft paint, whatever. You can use gesso. Um, I just happen to prefer this. Spin it out. Okay, these are all the papers that we just did. And you can see... They're not sticking together. So I'm going to grab one and then just touch it down on there. And then you get this really cool texture and pattern and stuff going on. And it lightens the background so that you can do stuff over it. more paint. Well, I just like this much better than just sweeping over the whole thing with gesso. And that's, that's great in some situations, but this just makes me happy. And you can also do the same thing, spray it down with your water and alcohol and it kind of loosens up the paint so that you get the most out of your paint on there. There we go. I think we need a little more. my titanium white and yellow. Reminds me of that jar of Mod Podge that I turned blue. It was an entire jar of Mod Podge. I had a um, paintbrush. I was painting and it was a really bright dark blue like this and I stuck the paintbrush in the Mod Podge instead of the water thing that was right next to it. And there's just no you know, there's no fixing it. It just gave me blue Mod Podge. It took me a couple years, but I ended up using it. <laughs> I made up excuses or, you know, projects that needed blue Mod Podge. Yes, Rosemary, brushes are overrated and, you know, dangerous. Um, and if you don't use them, then you totally avoid stupid situations like I tend to constantly find myself in. Jelly plate, smelly plate. Who needs a jelly plate? Yes, you can do every bit of this on your jelly plate if you want to, but you don't need a jelly plate to do it. You don't need a jelly plate to mono print, to make prints, to lift paint. You just don't need it. Great to have. I have one. I love it. But if you don't have one, don't feel like that you are um, really limited and can't do all the cool jelly plate stuff. There might be a few things you can't or that might be challenging, but for the most part, there's always a way. These are fabulous. 
Okay, well, we've done enough white. I think just one more blob. And then we'll make some marks. And then maybe next time we'll finish it out with like, you know, the doodling and the that part. Still got this stack. Ooh, that one stuck a little. That's okay. This stack happening. And I've got this stack. Now these can stick because that paint. Some of it's thick, some, some is thin. So I'm going to spread them out just a little bit. Okay. And there we go. No major sticking, so it's all good. Okay, now. I'm going to load up my rainbow again, and do some of the um, marks, show you how that works. Okay, where is my, here it is. Oh, this is the one that had the runny nose over here. So. Ah, it's much better. And the pink, or not pink, but red purple. Concentrating. Purple. There's one more. Where is it? Yep. Purple. Okay. Oh. Got it. Now we do our pull the rainbow down thing. This time I'm going to pull a little bit more. Too. 
Okay, now for our mark making. I'm going to have to stand up to do this. I hope, I hope this doesn't mess things up. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's, um, some of these are not quite dry. This one is dry. All right. So here's, here's what I've got to make marks with. I think I'm going to start with this bubble thing. Because who doesn't love bubble wrap, right? And this is some of that, you know, really sturdy bubble wrap. I tend to use a lot for this type of thing. I can lay it in my rainbow like that. And then put it directly on my paper like that. And then you get that. Oh, awesome! And I've probably got enough on there to do another one. I do. And then I'm gonna go to my little hook here and wipe off the rest. Okay. I need to leave this book open over here. That's what I'm doing. Now, 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 I've got some of these texture plates that or a gift, and I really like, they're just, um, texture plates, <laughs> so I'm going to use those, and, okay, here's another, another what, what you can do, you can lay it here, and kind of wiggle it around, and then go, whoop, just touch it there, And then lay it down. So see? Very cool, huh? Got some extra there. Maybe there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These you do want to kind of lay separate because they're going to have more uh, paint on them. And then get rid of the excess. Let's do another one of those. I like this one with the dots. So let's do maybe this piece with maybe these colors. Like that. And there we have it. Isn't that fun? I just really, really love these. Because it's just, I don't know, it's just a like a perfect, painty, fabulous, mixed media page, but without a lot of effort. Because <laughs> it's literally all the colors at once. <laughs> you don't have to try to add one at a time and and use just this color family or that one you know whatever i'm just loving this okay i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna go like that and then lay this down and
think we need a moment of silence for this one. Can we have a moment of silence? Because <laughs> this is like awesome. <laughs> I really hope the camera is just picking up all the color in there. Oh man. This one needs to go in a special drying place. I just need to have Jason hold this one until it's dry. <laughs> oh, that one turned out well. <clears throat> okay, let's get the rest of that paint off. Oh man, even the second one is good. Look. Well, this is my new favorite texture tool. Dead gum. All right, I'm I'm gonna be uh doing a lot of these. Where did I get the texture plates? I knew you were gonna ask me, and I they were gifted to me. And oh, who gifted these to me? It's one of those people who is gifts a lot. I cannot remember. I'm I'm wanting to say it was either Lou Jean or it was Patty Tolly Parish, or it, what was it, you, Gina? No, maybe it wasn't Gina. I do not remember who gave them to me, but someone did. And I can't even remember what she said that they were used for. <laughs> Basically, that was no hope at all. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. Don't, I can't give you any help on those texture plates. But, you know, um, okay, we don't have to use the texture plates. We can use... I've got some of these. These are Formica tile samples, you know, like you used to get at the hardware store. I don't know if you still do, but there's a samples. And then you put those kids fun foam shapes, just stick them on there. So there we go. Let's do a couple of those. Okay, let's do... Maybe some little squares. That's pretty cool too. Okay. Um, let's do one of the bigger ones. Let's see. This one feels kind of dry. Let's put it in that and then go boop. That seemed to work well. I think basically if you just do everything you're not supposed to, you know, everything that everyone is like, no, it'll make mud, just do that, and then <laughs> you're going to get fabulous results. Heck yeah. And the trick with these is to just kind of lay it in there. Don't rub it around too much. Just lay it on one, lay it on the other. Okay, let me do it again so you can see. We're going to kind of, I'll move it around just a little bit so that it picks up the paint, lay it on there, and then lay it over here, pull it up, stamp it down, and see all the colors just kind of sit next to each other and they don't muddy up. I'm leave that like that because then I can do other stuff to it. Okay, now, now what? I've got these that I made out of that um, Helmar glue. Loading oh, that. Uh, what is the name of that glue? Well, I don't remember. I did a video about it. 
It's a Helmar glue. Shoot. Scrap dots. Ha! That's scrap dots. No, that's the little sticker deals. Scrap. No, dot glue. Why do I want to say scrap dots? I think it is scrap dots. Maybe it is that. I don't know. Well, anyway, it is it dries dimensionally, kind of like a um, silicone caulk situation. And that is what I used to make these little uh, texture pattern things. And just let the glue dry, it dries dimensionally, and so there you go. I probably should have done more white ones. I'm having fun with this uh, pattern thing. <laughs> Stamping off my thingies that have got paint all over them. And seeing what else I've got back here. Uh, circles. Oh, I always like circles. This is a, just a soda can. And maybe it's time for a roller. This one doesn't roll as good as the other one, but it still will roll. This is a toilet paper tube with some of that kid's craft foam shapes glued onto it. And then you just get one of these um, sponge roller paint things at the hardware store. Or actually, I think I got this at a dollar store. And it kind of fits right inside. It doesn't always roll smoothly, but it'll work. Let me show you. You just have to kind of use a light touch. Because if you press down hard, it drags. And there's what you get. That was really nice. Okay, move it over. Ooh, that one's pretty too. looking great. Okay, one more with this. There we go. Put that right there. Okay. Now, roll this off the book. I've got this um, one lovely little foam stamp that I can use. that. I use this one on some of those others I made. I like tracing around it. Ooh. That's really pretty. Maybe I'm 
another one just kind of everywhere. Like that. See how easy that was? Man. I am just so excited about this because it's so dang easy and quick to get like really awesome results. Okay, I've got two more. Clean this off a little bit. And then I'll probably use this. This is my favorite, favorite texture tool thing ever. I'm getting pretty muddy over here. That's all right. That's nice. Very, very nice. Okay, now we don't want to waste all of this goodness right here, right? And since I am wanting to add some more color to my little book here, oh, I gotta sit down. Oh. This is kind of muddy and getting dried out. So I'm gonna spray with my diluted alcohol a little bit. And then, <laughs> I just licked my finger. <laughs> that was the last part. Um, let me do this. Oh yeah. That'll get some paint down on these pages. Mm-hmm. A unicorn and a clown. <laughs> That's kind of funny, Melissa. <laughs> Yeah, we, we look like we're uh, kind of knee-deep in, uh, knee in unicorn. So we've used, you know, quite a bit of paint here today. But... None of it has gone to waste, right? I mean, we've gotten good use out of it. And, okay, that piece of wax paper, remember this one? that has the white paint on it. Uh-huh. We can definitely use it to pick up over here. Nice. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Even just the palette looks nice. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna squeeze every drop of paint out of here that I can before I go and wash this thing off. Here we are. 
And if you joined us late or just joining us or whatever, this these pages I'm doing now are going to be the uh, book that holds my other pages. And I'll show you how those end up. I'll re-show you. Because I know, I love watching live streams, but I rarely catch them on time. I usually show up right as they're saying, okay, goodbye. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Getting hard to pull anything else up. So I think that's going to be about it. So, how was that? <laughs> was that good? I think next time, next live stream, you know I'm not committing to, I didn't say like next week or tomorrow. No, just next time something live happens, whenever that is. Then we will kick it up a notch. We will start doing um, this. We will add some details to our textured backgrounds. See? And we'll do a little doodling, simple doodling, black pen, white pen. You know, nothing difficult. You don't have to have any skills. This looks like a carrot. I think I'm going to actually have to just finish that off. Look, it's a carrot. <laughs> it was the edge of the um, formica tile that this was on. The edge of it had paint on it and it just ended up with right where that thing is and now all I see is a carrot. So yeah. So that's what we'll do next time. We'll do the doodling and then maybe the um, add a few little collage things on it. And these are the pages that I'm going to put in this book just like so because they're crumbly old paper and they really need to be glued down onto something so that they don't disintegrate so that's what i'm going to do <laughs> the crack hour. i'm going to have to start calling this the crack hour <laughs> i guess i'll have to wait and see i don't know if everyone else is going to think that this is just as addicting and awesomely fun as i do but <laughs> i really 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 do like it. Um, it's a little bit of a mess, but it's a it's a contained mess. You know, I've contained my mess right here. Um, I'm going to have to go soak in a bathtub full of uh, Murphy's oil soap, but you know, that's okay. It'll come off. I've got some fabulous drop paper, you know, as a good side effect. And um, this was really fun, just painting with all the colors all at the same time. So, woohoo, did we like this? <sighs> yes, I think so. Ooh, images, Janet, and it, images came from lots of places. This, I think, was communication arts. I don't know, random magazine, random magazine. I, who knows? Maybe Nat Geo. I am not sure. Um, I got them out of my image binder, and I never remember where they come from before they go in there. So, um, okay, I think that's it. We went just a little over an hour. That's not bad. I was trying to keep it to about an hour. So that's not bad at all. Y'all come on over to the Facebook group if you'd like to and um, give this a try and then post your pictures and show me how you take it to the next level because I know someone will. Someone will do something absolutely stunning with it. And I'm going to keep working on mine. Um, you know, you get all this painting and stuff done, and then it's really easy to just grab a black pen, a white pen, sit on the couch, and, and do the doodly part. So that's what I've been doing. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, seriously, I appreciate it. And uh, in the video description, there's a link where you can sign up for my newsletter, which I send out very infrequently. So, you know, it won't be annoying, I hope. But I will let you know, try to give you at least a day's notice for when the next live stream will be so that you can plan your life accordingly around me. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. 
that is all I have. All right, let me make sure. Okay. Let me see who all is here. Oh, oh we have a good crowd today. Oh, this is so exciting. Thank you. Let's do romper room again. Thank you, Michelle and Muriel and Gail and Cheryl and Ann and Linda and Barbara and Carla and Mary Ellen, Janet, Pauline, uh, Dawn, Lynn, Kylie Koo, Roseanne. Thank y'all so much. I really do appreciate it. Y'all have a great afternoon and evening and enjoy your weekend. And I will see you next time. Do you hear me stalling? Because I can't figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> this is me stalling. Well, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. The end.